hello everyone today we will see the working of linear voltage differential transformer a linear voltage differential transformer is nothing but a type of transducer or we can say sensor which produce an AC signal at the output whenever there is a movement physical movement has been there so in simplest form if we want to tell that whenever there is a movement of shaft there will be production of EMF at the output side uh, if you want to uh, tell the simple construction of LVDT it has primary coil and secondary coil in between primary and secondary there is a core material which is made up of ferrous that is nothing but iron so it works on a simple principle that is mutual induction so whenever there is a change in flux due to AC signal the EMF has been induced in the secondary coil this is given by the lens and slow lens law so by diagrammatically we can tell that if there is an AC signal applied in primary coil there is an induced EMF in the secondary coil if center tapping has been used in the secondary coil there will be the induced EMF that will be broken down into two voltages that voltages will have same magnitude it means if suppose the volt AC voltage is applied in primary coil there will be the two separate EMF gen generation in the secondary coil due to the tapping they are connected in series opposing it means that the magnitude of generation of the voltage will be the same but after adding it will get cancel each other that is connected in opposite direction so by taking a value we can easily say that suppose that two voltage has been generated at the secondary winding so if we will calculate the net voltage then the net voltage will be zero in this case L let's up uh, let's see the explanation when the shaft movement has been there suppose the shaft movement is at the center in this position so the voltage generation will be the same that is two volts and two volts so the net voltage will be zero because of series opposing connection in that center tapping uh, if the shaft is moved towards upward in direction then what will happen the voltage at the upper winding of the secondary core secondary core will have more voltage than the uh, lower at the lower side it means that uh, at the secondary coil which is at the upper side will have more voltage and at the lower side will have less voltage so if we will calculate the net voltage then will it have some positive value so in this condition it has two volts suppose it the upper winding has three volts and the lower winding has one volt so net voltage will be two that is positive two and if the shaft movement is uh, that is on the lower side let's see if the shaft movement is at a low side what will happen the voltage generated at the secondary side at the lower section will have the more voltage than the upper one what it means that wherever the shaft movement is been there that at that side the voltage will be greater so more EMF has been induced on that side so in this case now the total voltage will be minus 2 that is negative 2 due to the movement of the shaft at the lower side so if we will see the continuous movement if let's see if the movement of the shaft has been there so we can see that uh, if the core is moving toward the pause upper side then the sign same sign voltage we are getting but if we are moving toward the lower side at a secondary then there is a cosine wave that is 180 degree phase shift due to the series opposite connection thank you for watching it